slice of doodles. Yum! Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For this month's slice of doodles, I'll be illustrating Baboy Natural Gelato. This cute little gelato place is located in La Jolla. It is off Girard Avenue between Prospect Street and South Coast Boulevard. So first of all, I've been wanting to go to this gelato place for a couple years now. Um, it wasn't until this summer when I actually got to go and I was really excited. I actually went after I filmed my summer urban sketch video because it was literally up the street from where I filmed. That's one of the coolest things about this place is that it's really close to the beach. It's a walking distance and it has a really nice view of the ocean. So before I get into the sweet stuff, I just want to talk about the interior. So walking up to Baboy Natural Gelato, um, it's really small and cute. There's definitely a limited amount of seating and there's not enough space for big groups of people. But it's a really cute and very clean modern place. So they offer some indoor and outdoor seating. Indoor, they have the seating on the right side of the room and then the outdoor seating is on this little cute little patio with umbrellas. I love that they added so much wood to their interior. Um, first of all, their sign, it's really simple. I love their small wooden tables and seats because it just adds a lot of charm to the place. Um, it just reminds me of like I know, a garden, <laughs> which by the way, speaking of garden, they had a ton of cute little succulents along the windowsill and at least one succulent on each table. And with that, it added so much freshness to the place and it just created this whole airy vibe and I really like that about this place. So when you first walk into the place, you are greeted with this huge chalkboard sign menu full of their interesting flavors. And the employee mentioned that they change their flavors from time to time. I think they add seasonal flavors. So that's really cool. And the great thing about this place is that their gelato is all organic and they do offer um, a few flavors that are non-dairy. Um, usually they'll have like a blue star next to it. And I love gelato and ice cream places that offer samples because it's always nice to try out a flavor before you actually buy the whole thing. When I was looking through the menu, I my eyes immediately looked at the word hazelnut. If you know me, when it comes to dessert or coffee, Hazelnut is my number one go-to. It's just my favorite flavor. I just can't get enough of it. So I decided to get two samples of their Bacho and Mediterraneo. So the Bacho has chocolate and hazelnut, um, and the Mediterraneo has hazelnut, almond, and pistachio. So the cool thing is that you're able to get half-half, so I did get half-half of those two because they were so delicious. And I got it in a medium cone. Seriously, those two flavors are like the perfect pair. The bacho reminded me a lot of Nutella. So out of the two, I really, really love the Mediterraneo because of the three ingredients in there. Um, I'm just really into the nutty flavors. 
Um, so the hazelnut, almond, and pistachio to me is like a triple threat because those are just my three favorite nut flavors. It was literally heaven in a cone. I was trying to savor every single bite. And the waffle cone was, oh, I love waffle cones. <laughs> Their waffle cone was perfect. It wasn't too crunchy or too hard. It was just right. All together was just amazing. And I can honestly say that this is one of the best gelato places here in San Diego. Even though it's like half an hour from where I live, um, it's definitely worth a drive, especially during the summertime. It's just, amazing so amazing that today as i'm recording this voiceover i actually went again and i ended up getting half of mediterraneo but with their charcoal vanilla and the charcoal vanilla um i heard that it's really good on your digestive system because of the activated charcoal so that's really interesting a little review on that um the flavor to me, if you're Filipino, <laughs> to me, it kind of reminds me of ube. I don't know. It, it's just like a vanilla ube type of deal. It's not one of my favorites. Um, I would still say Mediterraneo is my favorite. This place had great service. Their employees are very helpful and they're very knowledgeable of all the flavors. And they're just so kind, so friendly. So there were a lot of people that said that there's always long lines, but I don't think that's always the case. I think that if you go during the week, there's not much going on because honestly, the two times that I've been, there weren't any lines. Um, there were people sitting at the tables, but there weren't any lines. So that is all for this month's slice of doodles. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! For this month's slice of doodles, I'll be illustrating Cafe Calabria.